okay? And the third person is going to cost that amount of money. Isn't it 58,000? Full time equivalent? Yes. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We got to pay, if I remember, the county has to pick up 100% of the third person. Right, right. And that's how we got this way to first. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. <coughs> well, I think, in all fairness, I think it'd be best for, for her to bring all three scenarios in front of us. I think so. And yeah. let us discuss it. And okay. Then, Go from there. Okay. I agree because after asking you a couple questions, mm -hmm. now nah, I agree with that. Okay. Look yeah, at, let us look at them all. And even what he suggested. Okay. Also. Okay. I, the extension board has discussed, we've been discussing since January <coughs> some of the different options. And at the last meeting, you know, one of the things they talked about was what if we had two and a half people? You know, what would that, two and a half Purdue employees, what would that look like? And at this point, we're not sure um, that, you know, we'd, the extension board would really have to discuss that because currently Dave and I are, are full time. We are splitting the 4-H um, work. 4-H is really important in this county. But we did lose about 60 kids this year, and we think at least part of that is because we don't have a full-time educator devoted just to doing youth work. So if we were to you know, end up with two and a half educators, I think the Extension Board would have to decide what, what's that going to look like? Are we going to have, you know, if, if 4-H becomes a full-time person, then what's going to go half-time? Right. Um, and, you know, another option that we talked about was we're not sure, and I don't think anybody else in Indiana has done it, but the 4-H the position is called youth development, and 4-H is a huge, huge part of that, but not all of it. You know, maybe a half-time person could only do 4-H, and then the other two people could pick up youth development programs, such as teaching JA in schools, such as doing the Whitley County Youth Leadership Program, um, you know, some of those other things. I, I, you know, we don't know if that would work or not, but that's one option that we have kind of talked about. Well, we wasn't sure when you lost a full-time person down there, it was going to work either, and I have to say that, that you and Dave have done a pretty darn good job of keeping it together. We're trying, but it's... You know, I, I can tell our programs are suffering, but I, you know, I live it every day. Um, and I, you know, with the 4-H program, I, I see it in that program, too, that it's, it's not growing at all, and it had been for about the last 10 years. But on so, the other hand, the high school, the schools aren't either, so maybe the number of kids available yeah. is not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, we don't know for sure. I mean, no. But, but, don't, but don't blame it on okay. yourself yeah. because well, there's other factors. Yeah, right. right. That half time person would be a Purdue employee or a county employee. They, they could be a Purdue employee. <coughs> no, well, the other county. Well, well, that's another option. We've looked at that too, but right now there's nobody else around us to share with. Um, Noble County, for several years, has had a half time ag educator. When they, well, it's, it's probably been eight years ago or so, uh, when they went through a downsizing phase, they, choose, they chose to go with a half-time ag educator. And it has worked well for them because they've hired retired ag teachers. And, you know, that, that's what oh, they so want to do. So they're not sharing, no. They're no, just, they're not sharing. They're just, okay. Right. I, I never thought of that. So, yeah. And the two program kids, those are just college kids that help mainly with the fair. Yes, right? the summer program assistants. Yep. Yeah. They come in about the middle of May, stay till about the first week of August. And they yeah. just they focus on the fair. fair. Yep. Yeah. Cindy, is there any is there any is there any possibility or anything that uh, I'm just thinking out loud, like uh, United Way or uh, what the County Foundation, anything? Have you ever approached her? Is that possible? We have not here. Um, 
some counties have tried different things. Um, Allen County this past year tried to do it like a joint position with part-time city dollars and part-time county dollars. Um, and it just, you know, and that's Allen County, but the, the, two, the two bodies of government could not decide on uh, on how that position would work. And oh, really? well, that would be that the really boss. Really the, the, the part that triggered that thought was when you said J.A. Mm -hmm. and, and I know that's real big in Allen County. Oh, uh -huh. Yeah. It's a great program. So, yeah, it is. And, and Dave and I both used to partner with him in teaching the schools, and we have not done that for the last three years because it's just, you know, it's one of those things we just don't have time to do anymore. Other questions or comments? Okay, we'll come back with at least three options then. Okay. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Next uh, agenda is uh, Refrance Government Center bond loan savings. <coughs> 